And today marks day 188 of the war in Gaza. Israel has confirmed killing three sons of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in a strike in the northern Gaza Strip. The three were operatives in the terror group. More from ILTV's Steve Leibovitz. The IDF confirmed three sons of Hamas's political leader Ismail Haniyeh, Hazem, Amir and Mohammed were killed after their car they were driving in was hit in a targeted airstrike in Gaza City's Shati camp. Two of Hania's grandchildren were reportedly killed in the strike, and a third was wounded. Hania is reportedly a billionaire. He lives in luxury in Qatar and has been the tough-talking face of Hamas's international diplomacy throughout the war. He was seen celebrating during the October 7th Hamas massacre. Only troops from the Nahal Brigade remain deployed in Gaza, confronting threats on the north-south highway. IDF tanks remain deployed along the border. It remains unclear if and when the army will launch its long-planned assault on Rafah. But overnight, the Air Force struck various targets across the Rafah area. Meanwhile, Defense Minister Gallant announced that Israel would open a new crossing into northern Gaza to assist the delivery of aid. The new land crossing will facilitate deliveries of aid from overseas and neighboring Jordan. It'll be located between the Israeli village of Zikim and the Palestinian village of Asaifa. Gallant said that Israel plans to flood Gaza with aid and also streamline security checks and strengthen our work with international partners. Israel has accused the United Nations of undercounting aid entering Gaza and concealing its own distribution difficulties amid growing pressure on Israel to let in more relief supplies. Kojat insisted there is no limit to the amount of aid that can enter Gaza. If international organizations send it, Israel will facilitate it.